Hi, I'm Mike Kiley. I'm with Denison Yachting, and today we're in Miami Beach aboard Scarlet. She's a 2008 Azimut 86S. I think Scarlet's an amazing yacht. So during the next few minutes, I'm gonna explain exactly why she's so special. Before we start today's walkthrough, I wanna point out three things that make her stand out to me personally. The first of three items are her upgraded Hamilton jet drives. This makes her much more maneuverable when docking, as well as quieter without any vibration at high speeds. Another plus is her low draft. It's ideal for sneaking into the Bahamas shallow waters. The second item is the power sunroof. She boasts one of the largest sunroofs in her class. This massive roof slides back into the cockpit ceiling to open up the salon into the sun or the stars. Third and lastly, Scarlet is the only Azimuth 86S on the market here in the US. Let's start today's walkthrough on the stern. Back here, we find two outstanding features that are essential on any yacht. First is a hydraulic teak platform, which makes water access simple. The second is a tender garage, which can house a tender as well as a jet ski to starboard. Just a few steps up, and I'm on the aft deck. The sunbed atop the tender garage connects to a center line settee finished off with a teak table. To port is a second L-shaped settee with a triangular teak table. To starboard is a wet bar with a fridge, a sink, and a barbecue. Everything you need for open air fun is here. Let's take the port side deck and head up to the bow. On the bow, there's a huge sun pad that can be converted to chaise style seating. Moving forward on the deck is the anchor locker with windlass. Now let's move into the interior starting with the salon. To port, you'll see an L-shaped settee with folding table that can dine up to eight. Her pop-up TV is in a perfect position to view from any seat. To starboard, there's access to the galley and crew quarters. We're gonna touch on these a little later. Let's take a look at the helm. The helm station is quite large. It's wrapped in leather and hardwood. The three centerline helm seats face an array of electronic screens. The Garmin displays give the ability to view engine room cameras, aft deck cameras, night vision cameras, depending upon what you need. In addition to the dual Raymarine 17-inch hybrid touch displays, there is also the unique Azimut ship's control and monitoring display. There are also two MTU engine displays and the joystick control for the jet drives. At eye level is the Humphrey auto trim and stabilizer system display. All the controls are well placed and easy to reach. From here, let's move down to the master suite. Her full beam cabin has a center line king size bed with a custom made inner spring pillow top mattress. Both sides boast panoramic windows and portholes. Under the porthole windows, there's comfortable seating for two. The vanity table is on the starboard side. The master has access to a large ensuite head with a spa shower. Moving forward and to port, we enter the queen stateroom. This originally had a twin berth layout, but recently was converted to a queen for more spacious sleep after a day of soaking up all the salt air. Across the hallway, we'll find a twin stateroom. This is a perfect place for the kids to settle in for the night. The last cabin forward is the VIP stateroom for your special guests.
Unfortunately, there were a few spacers on board that we couldn't show you during the video. This was due to a massive storm that moved in during the video shoot. As all boaters understand, this can be common. The first place we couldn't show you on video is Scarlet's Galley. The galley has a commercial style with plenty of storage and all new melee appliances. Off the galley to port are her crew quarters. She has space for three crew in two separate cabins with a shared head. Finally, let's talk some numbers. This 86 azimuth does an amazing 40 knots at wide open throttle, burning 190 gallons an hour. While at top speed, she pushes an astounding 900 gallons of water through her jets every second. Backing off to a comfortable cruising speed of 30 knots, she runs about 160 gallons per hour. That's not bad when you consider the overall speed. This is accomplished with 4,000 horsepower generated by twin MTU 16V 2000 engines. Thanks again for the time that you spent with me on Scarlet today. If there's anything I can do for you or if you have any questions, please reach out to me at any time.